from my side a very happy new year to all of you happy 2021 when we are starting a new episode we always have a, a precap of the previous one so why not to have a flashback of 2020 that i must say was a devastating one as we had the devastating floods in indonesia the australian bushfires volcanic eruption and earthquake in philippines earthquake across the globe floods in assam india and the dreaded coronavirus that took hundreds and millions of life and officially declared 2020 as the worst year ever 2020 strengthened my beliefs in the darwin's theory of the survival of the fittest you may ask who are the fittest of all the one who is always been prepared for any sort of calamity and this forces me to take the mooc call disaster preparedness i have learned many things in this uh, mooc but i will be discussing the most important one first is the disaster management cycle this is basically the cycle that authority used to tackle a disaster there are four phases to it number 1 is mitigation number 2 is preparedness number 3 is response and number 4 is recovery in first two phases basically we try to develop some pre disaster plan some pre planning is being done so that we can uh, be ready for the disaster in the third phase the response phase we basically took some measures to deal with the immediate threat and in the fourth phase the recovery phase in which the national or international authority make some policies to bring life back to the normal or as we say today to the new normal in a man disaster or in the natural disaster you might be wondering that how should i survive what should be what should be my plan what should be i be doing so for for that first of all you have to relax and develop your personal preparedness plan there are few steps of it Number one is that you have to analyze your personal background. That how many family members do you have? Their medical history, whether somebody could have blood pressure, asthma, diabetes, and the type of disaster you are facing. Either it's heavy rainfall, it's uh, landsliding, or is is it tornado? The second step is the home preparedness kit. For the home preparedness kit, you must have a good stock of food, uh, including dried foods, canned foods, meal ready to eat, and some more refreshing items like biscuits and chocolates, and a very good stock of water. About three to seven gallons of water and some water purification items like chlorine and iodine tablets. Uh, in case of an electric breakdown, a flashlight and lanterns, and in war zone, a survival knife. And obviously, first aid kit and a mask has to be there. In the times of this, in this pandemic, where the smart lockdown strategy was being used, where you were sealed in your houses, a home preparedness kit becomes a must for your survival. Number third step is the jump kit. It's just a go-to bag containing all your essentials. You just uh, grab it and evacuate your area. Number fourth step: escape routes and the transportation plan. In case of any disaster, you must know from where you will take an exit. Either it is from a window through a rope or by stairs, and what will the transport you will be using? Either it's your personal car or a local bus, or you will prefer walking. It completely depends on the type of the disaster you are facing, like earthquakes or a volcanic eruption, etc. Number fifth fifth step is the communication plan. There is two types of communication. This is communication in and communication out. Basically, the telephones and mobile phones are the source of communication out, where you update your loved ones that are you fine, are you all right in case of any disaster. And obviously, the televisions and radios are there as a source of communication in that update you about any sort of the calamity. Uh, in these pandemic times where the traveling is being forbidden we are completely relying on these sources and a mosque is also a primitive way of making certain announcement maybe in case of a signal breakdown number 6 is the shelter uh, the most safest shelter you may have is your house and even when you are asked to quarantine you are asked to quarantine in your house why because it's the most safest place but in case it is being destroyed because of any calamity you can take shelter in tents or in the bunkers or the areas associated allocated by the government or the non governmental organization number 7th and the most important step is the maintenance approach in which you review and update your plan and you may ask how by just updating yourself by a weather forecaster or a news channel holding meetings with your family to review your plan keeping a pill reminder calendar so that you can refill your medical stock and obviously this move so that uh, you can have a detailed analysis on the personal preparedness plan at times where these online classes where our ms team status kind of look like this our assignment section is loaded with these assignments and we are often getting this notification in means of coronavirus in more means of coronavirus in online and offline on campus exam conflict we must not forget